My wish is that this world becomes sane. I truly mean sane. Because we are, we are an insane species. We believe constant in fairy tales. We refuse to admit that we are bullshitting ourselves. Or must I say, humanity shitting. Because bulls are not so much full with lies as we. Well, did you think about the language we use? We call ourselves people. It means actor. Mask is mask. Actor's mask. A facade. A lie. A character. Personality. I am an earthling. I'm not a member of any species. Maybe I'm being born in one, but I'm not. <sighs> Placing one species over another. Murder is murder. Murder is unnecessarily taking of some other living being his life. To be clear, nobody in 2090 or 2080, depends on which day you watch this video, needs to eat animal products to survive. Period. If we can put a man on the moon and design a computer that can play chess, then absolute, without any doubt, we can sustain anybody on the planet on a plant-based vegan diet and can stop the animal slave trade forever. The only problem is that there is not enough political power to do this. It's only shitty little problem. This masquerade you call society. My only wish is that people let the animals alone. Try to cause the least amount of harm possible on our planet. That's not a selfish wish. Do you know what selfish is? Killing seventy king seventy billion land animals and one uh, and two point eight trillion marine animals any year for taste pleasure. That's the pure uh, definition of being self righteous. Those living beings are not willing participants in this bloody, bloody horror movie. Called Society of the Hominids of this time. Indeed, I call you not humans, because that implies that I call you humane. Something that you are not deserved to being called when you are not proof that you are with mercy, with humility, capable of being altruistic and don't be a shithead. Being vegan is the least you can do to deserve any respect whatsoever. Your New Year's resolution must be to go vegan 
We need to learn to live in harmony with the three basic laws of ecology. Finite resources. There's a limited amount of finite resources of the planet. That means a limited amount of growth. That means not extremist free markets. Those criminal organizations should be stopped and huffed and now will be stopped in a sane world. This world needs diversity in life forms. The law of diversity. You don't have any good working ecosystem without diversity in life forms. Second, the law of interdependence. All, and I repeat, all species on the planet are interdependent on each other. They need each other to survive. All living beings in one or another way work together. Without that, we get total massive paranoia shit on the, on the ecosystem. But there is only one species. How ruined it all for all other species on the planet. And there's one. Do you know? Do you want to know how that is? I show you. It is man. Mankind. Hominids. Homo meganomania. Homo ridiculous. Or pretty ironic. Homo sapiens. We means the wise. Something that we as a species are not. Some members, maybe. But as a species, absolute not. As we destroying our environment. We are the reason of the sixth max extinction. Scientists have called it the Anthropocene. Anthropos. Old Greeks for mankind. Because we are responsible for it. With our massive destruction weapons like commercial vision gear, concentration camp slaughterhouses, and massive amount of uh, unsustainable, uh, um, extremely, uh, extremely oil-hungry cars um, and power plants, etc. But the majority of the greenhouse gas emissions come from animal agriculture, and that's a fact. You can deny it, but you are shit and wrong. Check out the links in the description below for more details about that. Furthermore, what's the excuse for causing the least amount of harm possible on the plant? It is impossible to cause no harm. So Vera, I see it. But at least when you are a vegan, you try. You try to do something instead of playing lip service to all the problems on the planet. I mean that you give about uh, that um, the children in poor countries have to be fed when in reality 82, and I repeat this stat, 82% of all the, chi and the food and animals um, raised or animal feeds are, uh, are actually raised in places where the majority of the children and adults starve from starvation. How ironic. 
that animal rights activists are accused of not caring about members of their own species. <laughs> Stop playing your masquerade. Put your mask off and show your face. Show me your true. Bean is stated of your fake persona. Fake person. Fake, fakey, fakey. Before you maybe accuse vegans of something, it is better for you to look at yourself instead of be a an hypocrite. A pan. A tag, a shit hat, what I will call you. I refuse to use animal names as insults because they're speciesistic. So I call you not a bitch or a pig, what else? Because those animals are decent. Carnists, meat daring egg eaters, who wear fur and other animal products. Like leather. Are scum. There are cold carnists. From the Latin word carn, meaning flesh. When darkness and light become one, the reality splinter away and the true become uh, visible. 